Welcome to Disconnected. Please get involved down below. Um, I'm sure you all have your thoughts uh, about these topics that um, I try to address. Okay, so what are we talking about today? Conspiracy theories. <laughs> I love this topic. I got so deep down the whole uh, 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 um, flat earth um, rabbit hole, not because I even for a second believed in flat earth, but because it was so insane to me that there are actually people believing this nonsense. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't wrap my head around it. And that's why I watched so many of the videos because I was trying to not understand or see if I might be getting something wrong or if there's something to it, but more try to see, well, these people who are promoting, um, the flat earth thing, why are they doing it? I mean, do they, do they really believe it? And if they believe it, what kind of stupidity and illogical thought patterns makes them believe that? Or are they just faking it because it gets them a shitload of views and controversy and therefore they make a, a you know, they can make a living of it? What is it that, that would make them do that? Now, there are a huge amount of skeptical people in this world and me too, I'm extremely skeptical. Um, and I question everything, right? It just comes naturally. Um, but what I've learned in my many years on this um, blue planet of ours is that the problem is, the way I see it, is that you have you have conspiracy theories, and you can always you know, you can always uh, pull the quote you know when they smoke this fire, or you can say well just because they're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. I mean these sayings actually do make sense to a degree, and being skeptical that everybody's trying to tell you that the earth is flat is there's nothing wrong with that so you go out and then you you know you your interest gets triggered you go well why would they be saying that and then you go and you check it out a bit and then if you do half decent amount of work you will realize that it's just bullshit and the earth is definitely round and we're definitely floating in space and we're definitely part of a galaxy which is part of a, a fucking universe and you, you know there's there's no question Anyway, this is not about flat earth at all. This is about conspiracy theories. This is about conspiracy theories uh, and, 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 in my opinion, a misguided uh, when it comes to conspiracy, conspiracy theories. So please bear with me because I'm not so sure how to phrase this properly so that I get the right message across. So let's say I'm a conspiracy theorist and I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a wacko, right? And I am super dubious about um, what the government tells me and what NASA tells me and all these things. And I and I think it's this massive, massive conspiracy to 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 keep us um, believing in in a in a in a finite Earth and that there's only so many resources that way they can control us. So a lot of the conspiracy theories all center around control. So the reason I'm, I'm using flat earth just because I know a bit about, you know, the whole conspiracy theory. So one of the reasons they say that we are being told the earth is round and, and this, 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 this finite thing that exists and, and nothing more is so that we can then be controlled. We can then be told, you know, there's only so much oil, there's only so much air, there's only so much food, there's only so much this, um, because they believe that, you know, the bounding area is this big ice wall and beyond that there is still fucking endless land that we can use and there's additional resources underneath the earth but they don't want to let us know that because then they think we can just do what we want and we won't accept um, you know the constraints that governments want to put on us now obviously it is entirely bullshit but the part that I have an issue with is that the conspiracy theories that are so highlighted and vocal and where the people go so mad about and wh where they invest themselves into are things like moon landings, um, extraterrestrial life, flat earth, things like that, where we have conspiracies that are happening in real time right in front of our eyes on a daily basis, which makes our life worse and worse and worse. 
these are the way the governments work. These are uh, how uh, the banks fuck us over. It's how the corporations um, lobby government to get their interest through. It's it's interest through how um, you know there's all these things that actually really happen. Where our money goes, where our tax dollars go. Um, th these are and and what the public is told. I mean. It's, it's becoming more and more uh, uh, obvious that, for example, austerity. Austerity is not a reality. It is a choice, a, go a governmental choice, that if they want to impose austerity, they impose austerity. There are ways around it. You don't need to impose austerity. There are other ways of, 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 of running the economy. But th they will they will tell you all sorts of things about government debt and this, that, and the other... Uh, so we have, and, and, and here's the other thing. I can't do anything about the fact that the earth might be flat, and, but, it's, uh, 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 but I believe it's round. Like, it's irrelevant to me. What is relevant is how my economy is run and what I can buy with my money and how much I can earn and how much tax I need to pay and how much of that tax money goes to the roads and hospitals and schools and stuff. I have, I have some sort of degree or at least a possibility of a degree of being able to influence that by voting uh, for the right people, by uh, by protesting, you name it. So, the problem I have with 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 these conspiracy theorists is not that they um, are uh, um, mistrusting, but that they that they put all their effort of their mistrust into things that are kind of like who gives a shit, right? I mean, if we find out tomorrow that the Earth is flat, who gives a shit? What's the difference? The government's still going to be an asshole. Right, your taxes are still going to be wasted on bullshit. The corporations are still not going to pay their taxes, and they're still going to like pay their um, um, their investors. Uh, they they're still not going to give their 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 workers proper wages. Uh, climate is still going to be an issue. Uh, you name it, you you can list it off. But all these things that I've mentioned after are things that we as people can actually have some sort of uh, influence on. As a as a as a collective, we can actually vote for the right people. We can actually force uh, um, better governments. So, the vigor and the um, the dedication that some of these um, conspiracy theorists have is great, but to me it's directed at the wrong thing, at least at this time. So for example, what I would say is it's, it's, like a, it's like priorities, right? If you put all that effort into trying to prove that the Earth is actually flat, why not rather use all that time and effort and dedication um, to get a better government, to get a better economic system, you know, to make sure that capitalism works for everyone and not just the super rich? at least there is a a tangible um point that that we can say well okay this is something i can back well this is something um th that will ben be beneficial for society we can actually um or they can actually have a real influence so also it's, it's <laughs> how am i going to say this it's easier to prove right it's much easier to prove that corporations are are lobbying their interests and that money talks and that it is you know your government doesn't um in any shape or form reflect the will of the people it reflects of the lobby group that at that point in time within that five years of government had the most money it is it is you know th there's nothing weird about that there is nothing um strange about that th th there's nothing that can't be proven again and again and has been proven over and over and over again. So I find it I find it a bit a bit weird that th they are passionate people. So I'm going to say it this way. There are those conspiracy theorists who do this because they get you know such a cult following and so many views and I can understand that if you know if I ever bullshitted something like that and I saw the you know the YouTube visits coming in and my ad revenue coming in, I'd be like, yeah, I can ride this one for a while, even though I don't even believe a word I'm saying. But I truly believe there are a huge amount of these folk that really, really believe that there is something suspicious going on. And the only thing I ask of them 
is to divert their passion to those subjects that will really make a difference in our world. And then once we've organized that, once that priority is done, once we've got a better society and a better world, then we'll worry about if the Earth is actually flat or not, or if somebody went to the moon or not. Now, you can argue that they're connected, you know, the government lying to us about the Earth or, 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 or moon landings um, is part of the overall thing. That might be so, but it is our, the way we are governed and where our money goes and how we are manipulated that we can actually change, I believe, with proper politics and proper voting. Thanks for listening.